to our next issue of discussion, where it's another date in court for embattled former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefile. Well, the Ikeja High Court in Lagos remanded Emefile in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Justice Rahman Ushudi remanded him till the next adjourned date, which is Thursday, the 11th of April, when the court will give its ruling on his bill application. Emefile is being prosecuted for alleged abuse of office and allocations of billions of dollars to himself. GKB, indeed, this is not the best of times for the former CBN governor who will remain behind bars till Thursday when the judge will determine his bill application. What do you make of what's happening? A, a man in a badon could not get money out of his account because no, no, no money was available. He was walking from Oduono to his radio station. He had the money. He had money in his account, but could not access it. He walked from Oduono to challenge, and he just sat down on the floor and died. I can give you examples of people that were destroyed by the inhumane the decisions by this man. You know, all attempt to do whatever he wanted to do. People died. People lost money. People who are not, I know people have not recovered. A man the sold his car. Is destroyed. A man sold his car for 20,000 naira because that's the only way. 20? Yeah, because he wanted to pay hospital fees. Oh, wow. And he could not access his own money. And he said he can only get 5,000. So he now said he will sell this car and give you 20. So people, so people gave him money and he gave them the keys. I can give you hundreds wow. of examples of people that this character destroyed their life. The more we discuss him, the more we give him the light of day. I'm just waiting for the day judgment will be served. That will be the happiest day. Okay. <laughs> Maybe one of the happiest days of my life. Oh, really? <laughs> because not just, just like we said mm. about the Wadume case, these two is also fundamental of what become of us as a nation. Mm. Because if people keep abusing access to funds, access to power, and nothing happens, sooner or later, we will become Somalia. Because everybody will soon know that uh, I cannot be protected. Let me start protecting myself. So one of the days I'm looking forward to, God spare my life, is the day this man gets his just deserts. Ike, your thoughts on this matter? Because even though it's, it's really shocking to have heard what the GK just revealed about what people really went through, I can imagine In how tough... Tom starts uh, talking about the... Um, Money. Uh, yeah. uh, Naira, the painting mm -hmm. exercise that... <laughs> He supervised, and he went about it in a very arrogant manner. That I'm, there was even an occasion when he said, I'm sorry, I have no good news. Come on, who are you to say you don't have good news for Nigeria? I, I, I sensed at some point that Emefele must have been seeing himself as, as an assistant God. You know? Probably he didn't see himself as God because he had... A president Buhari mm. who directed him to do what he did. So he will still give that one the salute as the boss. But he was behaving at some point like Untouchable. God with the small letter G. Mm. And before our eyes, we saw women being you being carried to scale banking walls because people were coming to kill them. And some people sat in TV studios and they were saying they stood by him. Of course, standing by evil people is not new. Mm. So anybody can say, I stand by this fellow until the end justifies the means. Until time discloses just how shallow your reasoning is. In standing by him. What time is the gentleman? Mm -hmm. Time waits. Mm -hmm. Time is never in a hurry. Right. Time waits. And time serves his own judgment. Beyond the sheer wickedness, the thoughtless idea of repainting our currency 
at such a time when they were preparing for an election. These people had no sense of history because India tried the same thing that they did mm. and regretted it. SMEs collapsed. And at the end of the day, the black money that the Indians were looking for that caused them to change currency, they only found very little. So I had expected that my country, if we had a good CBN governor, taking lessons. would have said, okay, let us look at a country that tried to do this. Did they succeed? What is the implication? Many companies didn't survive that exercise. Many lives were lost. But that's not even the reason we are here. Mm. From the way he conducted that CBN, he conducted the affairs of the CBN, you could see and feel that it was a completely corrupt enterprise. It was run as a terribly corrupt enterprise. All of the stories that we are hearing that they are putting him on trial for. I was reading the one of the uh, this thing. Uh -huh. The first count alleged that the Mayfield directed to be done in abuse of the authority of his office as the governor of Central Bank, an arbitrary act to which allocating foreign exchange in the aggregate sum of two billion one hundred and thirty six thousand dollars seven hundred and thirty seven thousand thirty three dollars without bids, which act is prejudicial to the rights of Nigerians. That a bid should have been conducted. It's just like you want to sell TVC. If TVC why government mm -hmm. entity. Yes. You should allow for competitive bidding. Yeah. So that you don't simply unpick your friend and say, yeah, my friend, ah, I, I love you. You've been here for so long. Come and take. So that's one of the counts. Count two also of abuse of office. I like that the former bank chief between 2020 and 2021 in Lagos directed to be done in abuse of his office, the authority of his office as the governor of CBN, an arbitrary act to wit allocating forex in the aggregate sum of 291,945,000 without bids which act as prejudicial to the rights of Nigerians. That is the point that we are making. Mm. You know? And there are others, you know, it was under his watch that the CBN paid money to foreign the observers, yeah. $6.2 million. Just took it out of the system, paid to foreign observers. Nobody pays foreign money observers. to foreign observers. It was just an attempt to take away money from the system. In the food, we cannot talk about all of what they've accused mm -hmm. him of because we have no time. We have other things to discuss beyond the Mayfield. But in the fullness of time, we'll see how far they can go with, uh, with, with his trial. Indeed, 26 count charge is not a small joke to discuss on this program. But where would we leave this GKB? I know you said already you, you can't wait to see what the judgment will be like for this case. But even if it's going to serve as a deterrent to maybe. Uh, we have a new CBN governor already, uh, Yemi Kandosu, and we are happy with, with the developments that he's taking so far. Yeah. But what would you propose as, uh, would I say lessons? Or would I say what, what, can, be, what, can, what can one learn from the incident that Emifili has you know, found himself? What do you think can be, taken, uh, can be a take home from this case? The uh, founding fathers were very clear. The constitution was very clear when it uh, allotted rules hmm. to everybody. Oversight functions are fundamental in a democracy, or else so the person will become a kingpin, and they will become uncontrollable. Right. Those who are mandated by law to oversee the CBN government of that era failed woefully to do that duty. Because the moment the man was bold enough to buy hundreds of cars, Painted in his name, I did not react when he was accused mm. for almost a month. Shows the level of arrogance or the level of control he thought he had. 
There are things we've heard that we cannot see on national television about the way our dollars are located, our people sitting on the ground and being given money in the morning to be returned in the evening. What they call, uh, somebody in law America called it international round tripping. Hmm. That means you take money out in the morning, do whatever you want with it, return the same amount, but not whatever you've done with it later in the day or maybe later in the week. Under the same, the watch of the same man. So we need to re reinforce our control mechanism. Right. Anybody giving such massive amount of power, there should also be a massive amount of supervision. Control, yeah. Because unless we do that, we cannot stop somebody else using him as a template. Mm. Coming back, if we have another supervisory head of state, without knowing what to do. Right. This to me is the key. Absolutely. Let's